Oh, it's spinning again. Hello, hello. We made it. Did we make it? Hopefully you guys can find us. The uh, scheduled live did not go. It's just rolling. And so we set up a new one. And so here we are. Hopefully you can find us and jump in here. We're excited to be here. Uh, my name is Shari with Persickety Prince and this is Aubrey. Hi. And um, first we want to hear um, where you are all from while we're waiting for people to get in and to find us. I have Jenna and Mark here as well. They're going to answer questions that you have during this hour and Marcy is moderating from home. Now, Aubrey and I are not six feet apart. Close. However, we are cousins. So I feel like that counts as far as being family. Um, and this is a really crazy time to be alive. I'm sure it is. <laughs> All right, we have West Mis Michigan, Arizona, Lehigh, Atlanta, Georgia, woohoo, awesome. beaches. I'm gonna try to stay happy because I feel like um, every time I turn on the TV or anything really, it's just kind of depressing. So hopefully this is a happy hour for you guys. Um, yay, hi Kelly from Florida. And Tina from Springfield, Sherry from Washington State. Oh, that's where I'm from. Aubrey's from Seattle. Hi, Ashley. I'm, I, uh, I can't even see that far. <laughs> um, we are in my kitchen. Um, this is the best light I could find in my house. And we are excited to share some things with you. Um, we do have a couple of giveaways. So thank you for coming and being here with us. And I guess we could explain that right now. So um, as I was thinking about what's been going on and every day it changes, and by the way, even in Utah, we decided to have an earthquake in the middle of it all. So every day is something new here. Um, and we are living this history. We're living life through this. And I was thinking um, most of you, hopefully, well, some of you may have may remember 9-11. You remember 9-11? Yeah, I was in sixth grade. So I remember some things. Yeah, not and I remember it vividly. I remember where I was. I remember it was so traumatic um, for a lot of us. And I'm in Utah and I'm not even near um, you know, any of the places that were highly affected. And um, so as I was looking back to 9-11, and I had two, two little boys at the time, um, and they were one and two years old, and now they're learning about 9-11 in school. And I'm like, how amazing would it be if they actually had stuff, what they were doing during 9-11? Yeah. 9 yeah. Um, I took two of my boys to New York City two years ago for the very first time, and we went to the, the museum, the memorial. It was amazing, and they loved it. But going through there, I'm like, wow, um, a lot of this stuff is other people's stories at the memorial. But wouldn't it be cool to have their story? Yes. I wish I had that, for sure. Like where you were and what mm -hmm. you were doing. And just my thoughts. Like being in sixth grade, that's a good age to journal about it. Mm -hmm. But I don't have anything. So I do wish I had that, for sure. But you remember the trauma of it? Yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and watching the news constantly and mm -hmm. all the craziness, for sure. Yeah, so in thinking of that, I thought, okay, here we go. Like This is kind of a crazy uh, pandemic and what we're living through, and it changes every day. And um, Aubrey has little kids, mine are teenagers, and home from school. So not only did I think, let's make a journal about what we're doing every day um, and how they're feeling, kind of like mm -hmm. how you were in sixth grade, and then yeah. your perspective of it is a mom with young kids. Yes, exactly. Um, so as we kind of talk more about what we're doing, if you guys have questions, feel free to leave a question. Thanks, Anne. Yay, Canada. <laughs> Hope you guys are all being healthy and sane. And oh, anyway, our kids are out of school now until May 1st. And so for the young moms, that I, I, my heart goes out to you. Mine are teenagers. And as much as it's hard to keep them entertained, it would be a lot harder if they were in elementary school. Um, Okay, so circling back to documenting this time, and um, 
yeah, every day, like we have the news on right now, just in case there's breaking news for you guys. Like, I don't want to interrupt any of your breaking news, but um, hello, Sarah. Now, if you can't comment, so one thing on this new, there's a new setup with Facebook Live, and I haven't done a Facebook Live for a while, um, with the new um, producer platform. In order to comment, it's said that you have to be a follower of Persnickety Prince. So make sure that you're following Persnickety on Facebook so that you can comment where you're from. And here's kind of how we were kind of going to try to make it fun. So if any of you have ever heard of Heidi Swap, hopefully you have. She wanted to be with us tonight, but she couldn't um, make it down. She may be online here. Um, I love Heidi, and I know probably a lot of you do as well. And Heidi just came out with a brand new system, and I love her storyline system. I have a bunch of stuff behind me that I can show you guys if we have time. Um, but her storyline system is awesome because really it's like, a journal and then you can put different size prints and different things inside of them well she just came out with storyline chapters and if you haven't seen this um, it's super cool because you can fit this is an 8 by 10 album um, and inside of this album you have separate journals it's such a genius idea and you can fit up to nine journals inside of here so these little things come out. If you haven't seen Heidi display these yet. And um, you can flip the journal inside and then it stores nine of them. So these are this is a brand new product. I can't even get it. In fact, I had to go to Marcy's house today and have her leave this out on the porch for me so I could use hers <laughs> because I can't find one of these. Um, they're super popular. They're brand new, like I said. And um, my thought for my family, um, well, I have a couple of thoughts I'll share and I'll try to be quick is you could actually put nine journals inside of here. You could even, you could give your children like each one That's right, yeah. and like they could document and write things. And then mm -hmm. this could like be your family journaling. So cute. like system yeah. for the whole, that. however long we're all stuck at home. Yeah. I mean, it gives them something to do for sure. Um, so that was kind of my thought, but I can't find it right now. However, three of you are going to get an album, and three journals inside and a sticker clutch, like a sticker set. Um, I just need to find them. American Crafts, come on people. And so we're gonna have three giveaways or three separate people will win this. And so this is kind of how we were thinking it would be fun to do it. Um, comment where you're from. And hi Ashley, I'm trying to keep up with all the comments. Um, hi West Michigan, Virginia, Richmond, woo. And um, Hi, Lori. Glad you found us. Hi, guys. Thanks, Marcy. Watch Marcy's. Um, she's going to link up some things that we talk about. And, um, oh, it is sold out on Heidi's website. So scrapbook.com has these. And any, okay, I shouldn't say any because my local Joann's doesn't. But Joann's carries these. And you can get it, I guess, on joann's.com. I'm not sure what they have in stock. Um, but scrapbook.com has some. But these are awesome. And so what I was thinking. And I was thinking of you all on documenting. Now, I have my family album that many of you have probably already seen, and it's my 2019 family album that I'm using Webster's Pages. Um, I don't probably document as much as Aubrey does because she has little kids and bursts and all that stuff. My photos are a little bit less and less now that I have teenagers that don't like to be in front of the camera. <laughs> but when all of this craziness started happening, in the news, I started creating pages for um, to put in this album. I love Webster. I love the, the leather cover. I love this album. It's a six by twelve. And Mark, let let me know if anyone has questions, okay? Sure. And Jenna, thanks. Um, and so um, Allie Edwards has some free printables for this whole coronavirus epidemic that we can use um, in our scrapbooking or memory keeping. Look and Aubrey will show you what she did with hers. Yes. But I made this six by twelve. And then this is a pocket album. But as I was going along, I'm like, it's going to fill up the whole album, everything I have to say and all the memes and stuff. Um, so now I'm thinking about switching over to either a storyline or Heidi's um, chapters. And I printed all of this stuff today to do that. <laughs> um, so that's why um, when I thought of you guys, I thought, okay, wouldn't it be fun to make your, I mean, not fun, but record and document history as we're living it in something. 
So now what Aubrey chose to do was use one of our Persnickety Prince journals, and she's going to show you a little bit about that. Oh, we have a question. Where's your question about where did they find that album? This one? So this is websterspages.com, and I have shown some videos. Um, this is a new system that they kind of put together, and it's the first year I've ever used them. I really like it. It's a totally different binding system. And um, the, the amazing thing about these are the cover, and like inside it's leather, and this is a nice, um, like a vellum overlay with foil. It's really pretty, and it's pockets. So there's four by six, three by four, and six by twelve. That's this is our family album for 2020. I have my 2019 back here and a bunch of other ones that we can look at later, um, or maybe on another live. But that's that one. And then you go to the like you can get that on Joanne's. Oh, you can get this at Joanne's. Yeah. Awesome. I know there's three different colors mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of different journals. They're so cute. Someone said they're 25% off online right now. 25% off online for Heidi's um, chapters. So this is a great way to document the um, history as we're living it. Okay, so Aubrey's going to show you um, what she's been doing with her toddlers and then, uh, oh, in order to win, yes. so comment where you're from and Marcy's going to choose um, a random commenter and then the second one, and then we have two other questions that we'll ask during this Facebook Live. Yes. And then just random comments, you guys will be entered to win. And then at the end of the whole thing, so we're going to try to cut this off right at six because I know you guys have so many places to be. <laughs> um, we're going to cut this off right at six. And um, at that point, Marcy will let us know who, sh who the winners are. So there will be three winners today. And then also, I know a lot of you love, Aubrey inspired this, of course. So in Aubrey's journal, she wrote, um, like a timeline? Yeah, I'm showing that. So I just wrote out a timeline. Because I couldn't find one anywhere, so I just wrote one out. And then I posted it, and all of you guys were like, oh my gosh, that timeline, it's so cute, I want it. And hi, Darylin. Um, Hi, Bethann. Oh, yes, thanks, Bethann. Um, Tammy, Allie Edwards Design, yes, she has those. Sorry guys, I'm trying to read all these comments. Um, okay, so Aubrey inspires this timeline, right? And I love it, I love hers, and we thought about, well, should we just scan it and um, and then and then let them download it? But hers is in like the six by eight format, and yeah. whatever you choose to do and how you document is might be different. So then we thought, I'll just remake these. So I spent today, I mean, if I, when I'm gaining 20 pounds, you guys, because I never exercise anymore. It's quarantine 15. It's quarantine. That's why. But anyway, I spent my morning making these for you because a lot of you loved the whole time. And I actually got this. We got this on what website did you send it to me? Like CNN or yeah, it was, it was New York Times. Website. It was a news website. Mm -hmm. So this should be not fake news. Mm -hmm. And these um, are four by eight and they are highlighted. It's a timeline and order in the month. So you'll notice there's January, February, and then I will make one for March as soon as March ends. And I'll po post that on our blog for you to download as well. And the reason why I chose these colors is if you didn't already get it and Marcy will link that up. Oh, we also gave you guys a free download of three by four and four by six cards um, last week. And so they coordinate with this. So cute. Good question. These are on our blog, and Marcy will add a link for you um, in the comments. So these, though, we're going to give you a link to download these at the end. So stick around. We will be doing that um, in about 45 minutes, and we're only giving it to you here. So thanks for being here. All right, Aubrey, take it away. Okay. So like she said, I have two little boys. I have a three-year-old and an eight-month-old. So I want them to be able to remember. Well, they're not going to remember. So I want them to be able to look back on what was going on during this crazy time and what we did and it's also for me too like it, it'll be nice to look back because in five ten years from now it'll seem like such a small moment in our lives like not like as far as time goes and but it's also something huge so anyway i just want them to remember and to be able to remember it too so i decided to do one of our custom six by eight journals and i just created this cover in photoshop using ali edwards free downloads so I just did, did that in Photoshop and then saved it as a JPEG, uploaded it to our website and put it in on the cover. 
So that was what I did for the cover. We did have a question. So this yes. is this is Persnickety's journal, and it's really thick cover and then thick pages, and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Somebody, a couple people on Instagram wanted us to give you this, like, pre-made. Um, I haven't heard back from Allie, but I will ask her if anyone's interested if we can. It's her design, and it is free on her website, but because Aubrey created something with it, we can't really reproduce it, even if it's free. So we just need to get permission from her, and if we can, we'll stick it up there. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and then for my journal, I chose the dots for the inside because we have lines, blank, or dots. So I chose the dots. It's nice because then you can do any layout, but you also have a guideline to write straight. So that's why I did the dots. And so for the beginning, I just printed out some of my top like favorite headlines from the news and just made a little collage. I love those. Yeah, did you uh, did you print them on two by two or how did yes. you put them okay. on two by so, two? So here's show you. Like that. Perfect. So I used our four by eight template that's on our website because you can drop in two by twos and then cut them out. And two by twos are the perfect size for this uh, because you can fit a lot on the page. So that's what I did for the majority of my pictures. And um, I also used some three by fours, which I'll show you in a, in a minute. Um, and I also use some of Allie Edwards downloads in there. And then I use some from Megan Johnson as well. She has really cute Thank ones. You, Megan. Thanks, Megan. And oh, Marcy will link that up too. Like there's cute toilet paper and stuff like that. So just adds some fun stuff to it. And then um, okay, so then I did the timeline, which that'll be nice to have the download. And so like if I mean you could technically put that right there, yeah, right? It'd be so that's cute. why we made it four by eight. It would fit perfect. Like you could just slap it on there. Paste it in. Thanks, Tammy. Perfect. And then it, I just want to remember all the things. So me um sorry, this page. Memes are huge right now and I think they're hilarious and it keeps us laughing. Um so I had to put some of my favorite ones in here and then this side I just want to write how we feel and I haven't written that out yet. But so I kind of started just by laying things out and I can go back and add it when, when I want to. So I'm going to have everyone in our family say how they feel. I'll probably write Nixon's cause he's only eight months old, but it's just kind of fun to have it in there, you know? And Aubrey did record a sweet video for us that we put up on yeah. YouTube that shows this a little bit more too. Yeah. So. And you can go look at that. So yeah, it's just fun to, to add it in as you go. And that's the nice thing about journals is you can just keep going. You don't have, it's not like a bound book that has to be, done when it's all over, like since this event is still going on and now's the perfect time to document it and do it because we have so much more time at home. Um, that's why the journal is perfect for that. So now I'm just documenting our days. I'm actually doing it by week because I think that's easiest. So like here's our first week. I'm documenting we had our first church at home and just hanging out with my boys and all the things going on walks. So and then I left room to journal. So that's going to be my next step to go back and write write about things. And another one of our templates that's fun, and I talk about this in the video, is our four by six collage. It has white borders. So um, this is also two by twos, and then when you cut them out, I need you to have that to the borders. two by two page. Did you just figure that out, that it cuts yeah. out to white borders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's fun, too, because then you can switch it up and, and add in ones with borders, ones without. And like I said earlier, I used three by fours for like some of the bigger pictures that I wanted to highlight important things. So these are three by fours. And I decided to use photographic for all of my pictures. You can use our press prints as well. Photographic's my favorite because it's archival and it'll last forever. So and that's why I use that. How much they're on oh, yeah. sale for $12. Yep, right they're now. on sale for $12 right now. So you can customize the full, the full cover. It's like a six by eight. So if you want to do like Aubrey did it in Photoshop, mm -hmm. you could do it in Canva or you could yeah. do it in um, any other program. Um, you want to size it about a six by eight. And thank you, Heather. Um, Heather Locke just said, I'm a historian at our state museum, and I'm so thankful that people are documenting their experiences right now. It's so important. You will never regret it. It's so okay. true. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Time yes, goes by so crying. fast. Mm -hmm. And um, this is, yeah, it's, we need to write our own story. Don't let somebody else tell it. It's your story, how you live it, your perspective, and your reality. Exactly. Exactly. And I think one impo one important thing, oh, someone has a question. Someone right? has a question. Can you offer the timeline blank so we can do a timeline on the state level? Hmm. I could, we could. The only, the only thing about doing it on the state level is this is the date. 
So, I mean, we could just give you a blank download if you really want of just the month and the year, but like right here, it's January 1, 7, 11, 13. Those are the dates and then what happened. So like number 11 is China records its first death. And then like January 20th, first US case is reported a 35 year old man in Washington. And so that's what is included on the timeline. So we can look at that, email me and we'll see exactly what you want. It, it'll just be hard because I won't be able to add really anything down here for those. But that's a good question. Yeah, and yeah everything on there's uh, world, like kind of the world view yeah. of it. So. so one thing I was gonna say that is important for me is to keep it somewhat simple so I don't get overwhelmed and then just never finish it. And so I always have to, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I try not to be when it comes to Same. stuff like this and just do what I can and um, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's the nice thing about journals. And if you messed up on a page, you could rip it out. So mm -hmm. that's another nice thing. Yes, I love that too. You just tear yeah. it on out and you're like, I'm done with that. Yeah, exactly, start over. So what are you doing here? You, so I'm, this is that's a, little, a cute idea. But anyway, washi tape is fun too. You can use washi tape in there. So that's another thing. So you just wash it around the edges? Yeah, and then I'm gonna put pictures in the journal. So it's so fun. And if you have younger kids that like this, I have all boys. That's what the Lord gave me. We love them, but they don't like to scrapbook or do anything with photos. So yeah. if you have young girls or people that like to be creative with you, it'd be a fun thing to do as a family. For sure. And it'd be fun to have them journal their own page and how they feel do it themselves. Yeah. Kelly so. said her 15-year-old uh, is bullet journaling right now. So well, these actually, we actually, yeah. Kelly, we created these for bullet journaling. Um, and we like pen tested every paper because yes. as you can see, Aubrey is using like Sharpies and it doesn't, we make sure that the papers are thick enough so that it doesn't go through. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we created these for the bullet jar journaler, but because the pages are so thick inside, um, it's, it works well with photos too. Yeah, exactly. So Lori has been taking photos around town and empty town, town, Chicago. Totally. Oh my gosh, Lori. Okay. The very last. I call this my last supper week in Salt Lake City before we got shut down. Like this is a picture of me oh, I just printed in the middle of the street in Salt Lake City. Like not a single person. It's so crazy and weird. Um, and anyway, so yeah, it's, I mean, think of the pictures that you see in museums and things like you guys could be the ones taking them and like donating them because there's not a lot of people that think like that out there. Exactly. So that's awesome. Thanks for sharing. And you have all this other stuff going on. Yeah, be I just adding. printed a bunch of pictures. I just print them all and then figure out as I go. Oh, look at so if, if I plan too much ahead, then I won't do it. It's easier for me to just print them all and do it as I go. And then you don't have to get you overwhelmed. You guys should see our table. Yeah. Yeah. It's just madness. Prints everywhere. Prints everywhere. Mm -hmm. And we are just doing this together. Okay. Um, oh, Rory is in Southern Nevada. Thank you, awesome. Rory. Make sure you get that, Marcy. Okay, let me ask another question. This is just fun. And um, Marcy, you just go ahead and text us. I have Mark on my phone over here. Hi, Mark. Here you guys can see Mark and Jenna. <laughs> there they are. Hi. They're helping us out. My sweet little husband and my only daughter that I'll ever have. And I'm grateful that I get to share her with their mother. Okay. <laughs> Jenna is 18 and she's going to make a high school year, but we'll show you that another time. Are we awesome? Okay. So another question, if you are documenting this time in our history, leave a comment on how you're doing it. It might give us some more ideas. We get a lot of ideas from you guys. So that's an entry. Um, leave a comment on what you're doing to document this time. All right. Ashley's having your teens write an essay per week about their perspective. I love it. Like these kids have so much time on their hands now. Mm -hmm. So that's great. I love all the ideas. Um, Kelly Johnson's saying that she loves the two by twos. And let me just say something really quick about these. I won't get into all the details on different print processing, but Marcy, if you'll link up persnicketyprints.com forward slash two by two, there are two different ways to order two by twos on a four by eight template and it's photographic. So this is the, dark room, water. If you guys haven't seen our water test, you can dunk this in Coke and water and nothing happens. And these are the press prints. So it's almost like a bookmark size. And both of these can be cut out um, in a two by two. And then there is one without borders too. Yeah, you were gonna yeah so here's without borders. Yeah. Um, Melissa, how is Utah handling the quarantining? 
Well, we didn't, I don't know if you're here, Melissa, sorry. We are supposed to be six feet apart, but Aubrey's actually my cousin, and we feel yeah. like that that should be okay. And the screen isn't wide enough for us to be further apart. Yeah. But yes, we are quarantining, and we're not really supposed to go outside. And as of right now, Persecuti Prince is open um, for pickup only, and it's limited hours 12 to 4 and until further notice. So if you guys really want to order pictures, get them now. Because, unless, and, I mean, if they shut us down, then we are not going to be considered an essential service. Yeah. Somebody's asking, so are you printing them from home, or are you ordering them and having them shipped? Okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come and spank whoever asked that question. <laughs> Just kidding. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and for sure sign up for our newsletter. We'll give you all the ideas on how to document life. But we print these at a lab here in Utah, and um, we have – a whole team that is printing these every day. So no, we don't print them at home because you can't print these at home. And I've already done the water test a million times, but um, will you go grab me a Diet Pepsi, Mark, and a glass? I'll just show you guys. The reason why I'm so passionate about this kind of printing is because, oh, that's cool. You're collecting front pages from a museum. Oh, cool. um, this is darkroom processed. So these will last forever. We've had um, scrapbook pages last hurricane sandy i have a blog post on our blog about that um they are water resistant they're never going to fade they we don't use any ink so they can't be printed at home because we use these huge machines that um are light sensitive and i can get into that later but there's a whole video on it but thanks for asking but no you go to persnicketyprints.com and order prints that is our business we appreciate you supporting small business um it keeps us all going as our president says small business oh, do you want to sit I'm good. small You're business sure. is our, is the engine it's the engine of our country so no 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 we never want to print at home unless you guys know that your inks at home are pigment inks which are very expensive and are going to last because otherwise there's what's the point of um documenting things if we can't have it forever right so just while we're talking, I'll just leave this in here and I'll show you what happens because absolutely nothing will happen. Okay. And Marcy's texting us the winners, but I will read them later. Thank you, Marcy. Okay. So we are at 5.30. Oh. Okay, guys. This is fun, right? Yeah. Love it. Even though we're living in darkness, this is fun. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this right here so I don't spill it. Okay, guys. Um... One other thing I wanted to say about documenting is I think it's important to show like our emotions if you can. Like I don't always remember to take pictures of like the sad times, but like one, this is my little boy Nash and he was so sad because he found out the trampoline park was closed. And <laughs> he's literally in tears for 10 minutes. And so I snapped a quick picture because I want him to remember that when he's older. Yeah. Because he was so sad. He has a hard time staying home, but he'll, he'll, boy, he'll remember. Boys are, the yeah. trampoline so park is I think closed. it's important to take pictures of everything um kendra says she's been collecting screenshots kendra me too um well my screenshots are in the diet pepsi right now let's see if i have another one but um yeah collecting memes is kind of fun mm -hmm. and um those print actually out pretty well as a two by two the resolution is just fine yeah um that's what aubrey did on hers um this is like a screenshot from instagram so they're not going to be super sharp when you print them but they're fine um, this is another, it's a four by four print, um, which I have to send to my mom because she thinks that she still needs to go to target and, um, you know, the kids at home doing homework in their bed with a big smile on her face. <laughs> okay. So Bethany, Bethann, this is a four by four, four by four photographic. You always want to do photographic if you can, um, with a white border, you can add white border or print it full. Four by four, like a full bleed. Yeah, so compared to two by two. Yeah, so those are the These comparison. are the two by twos when you cut them out. And Thank either you, one Sarah. will fit in your book, in your journal. Documenting our day to day and our new life homeschooling. My heart goes out to everybody. I get it. I mean, moms are losing their minds right now. I mean, it really is hard. Try being, well, a lot of you too are trying to juggle work and mm -hmm. kids at home now and business and life, and it's it's tough. Um, and that's okay. Like our feelings, that's okay. Um, you know, tell that story and it'll bring you, it'll bring you, I have a whole book of my mom's cancer treatment and that's for another day, but 
she looks at that now and has so much strength because she made it through. Um, it really gives her strength through each day when she looks back on hard times. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just share a couple of other ways that we can document. Okay, so I showed you the pocket system. So this is, again, Webster's Pages. And then the Heidi Swap um, albums I think are amazing. But what I, my first Heidi Swap album I'm gonna show you, um, this is the storyline. This is the first time storyline started. Do you have a question mark? Okay. Um, and so it's kind of like this. This is storyline. These are still available too. And this is an eight and a half by 11. And um, I love it because just like Aubrey said, I love the pocket system. It's just really quick and easy. But whenever you're doing it like this, where you're just kind of gluing them on or taping them on, and Heidi has these little corner stickers, you don't have to worry about orientation. And so these pages, like this is an eight by eight Persnickety Prince collage that I made on our website and then just printed it. And then these are two by twos. So this is a portion of my travel of traveling, but this is how Heidi's storyline works. And so these little sheets come out and you can quickly just add prints on there. And then just there's places just to write a few words and that's it. So it's really, um, it's really easy. Marcy has a hard job. Marcy, what can I help you with? Oh yeah, you have to, so you guys, you have to follow Persnickety Prints Facebook page in order to comment mm -hmm. and in order to win things. So Marcy's trying to tell everybody that. Go and follow Persnickety Prints on Facebook so that you can actually comment. Okay, um, so that's storyline and a mini book for sure, um, Shirley mentioned. And anyone else have what uh, uh, sharing what they're doing on there? Let me know off. Um, my 2019 family album that I really love is also a pocket system, and this is from Studio Calico. And this is a nine by twelve. People are asking, can they order from Persickety right now? Yeah. So Persickety Prints, we are still taking orders, online orders for photographic printing, until until we're shut down and I don't know when that will be we may not ever be shut down um, there's not a lot of COVID cases in Utah and in Utah County we haven't had any um, they're mostly up in Salt Lake City which is about a 45 minute to an hour north so we are still working and we are still uh, printing and shipping every single day and our turnarounds are really quick so you can get them done fast and um, yeah so thanks for all your support let's see Collecting memes, yeah, the memes are great. So, how long is your order turnaround? Our order turnaround is same day if we can. Mm -hmm. um, if you order like tonight, we would ship tomorrow. Um, and you can choose express shipping, but usually it's like, I don't know, five to seven days is just the basic standard. And actually, I believe we have free standard shipping right now with a $25 order. So, um, mm -hmm. that code is on our website. It's Photograph, mm -hmm. it's the free shipping code. So, free shipping. For any of this stuff. Um, okay. Ask how many people work in your office. Um, how many people are in our office? We are a small business, so we have under 25 employees, and we do everything in house. So a lot of photo companies, like um, a lot of our competitors, they are a great online platform, but they really don't print in house. They're usually outsourcing stuff, and we um, don't really believe in that. We want to be able to talk to you and ask you questions. If there's a problem with your order, we will call you. And we have lab techs that are certified that sit at a machine and look at every single photo as it prints. We don't auto print anything. Um, again, we're using darkroom printing. So um, your photos are archival. Um, yes. And just got to clean that off a little bit. So my diet Pepsi. And we're still, there's nothing that's bleeding. There's no ink. So these are, the photographic prints last forever. And that is what we're passionate about. Someone yeah. asked about a four by four really quick, I'll tell you. With the border, if it's a four by four. So the final print size is a four by four and the <laughs> border is an eighth inch. So your picture is a tiny bit smaller than a four by four. But the final print size is four by four. 
that's what they asked. Um, are the pages sticky? They are photo prints, but um, okay, so if, that's a good question. Pe people that are using a lot of like grocery stores now call them photographs, but they're using dry ink, which technically is more sticky and it's a, the picture comes out a little bit more saturated. Um, I know a lot of targets did that for a while and then they ended up closing their photo lab. Mm -hmm. um, and so that would be more of a sticky feel. Um, this is like a photograph as if it were film. So we take your photo and we convert it to a digital negative. We take your digital photo, convert it to a digital negative, and then we process it like film. So like, and the colors look amazing. So this is a photo taken from my iPhone of my bike ride the other day. And this is a six by eight. And there's my son having breakfast and a six by eight, our family dinner. And we played um, kickball on Sunday. So um, these are all taken with my phone. Photographic darkroom process. Um, I believe these are like a dollar. So anyway, I'm not. We're not really here to sell for Snickety by any means. And I love all your questions. We're here really to just help you document and help you tell the story. And um, yeah. So let's see. Okay. Um, shout out to yes, the storytellers group. Yes, we love so we have a Facebook group. It's called storytellers and it's a private group where people share all of their um, Create uh, you know everything that they're doing and, the, and it's just a safe place where we just share with each other um, What we're creating what we're documenting and Marcy runs that Facebook group. So feel free to jump on over there and um, answer some questions to get in there because in that Facebook group we do giveaways and all kinds of stuff all the time. Yeah, there's so much in inspiration there. So okay. It's nice to see what happens. Um, a lot of you, so this is the 2019 album and these are 9x12s from Studio Calico. And these pages I actually made in Photoshop and I have a free template on our website, 9x12. Um, the Collect app, a lot of you will ask about a lot, but these are 3x4 pockets and I use the Collect app to document every day. Um, last year, not every day, but a lot of the days. And so you can create this right on your phone. <clears throat> the Collect app though is iOS only, unfortunately right now. Yes, we are fast, Tamara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Tamara. Tamara, you've been with us for like Tamara. 10 years. Mm -hmm. I need to go get my sweatshirt on. Tamara sent me a sweatshirt, yes. I remember that sweatshirt. I remember that, so cute. So cute. So these are two by twos, and this is just my nine by 12. So these are options, this is, options on um, different ways that you can document the time right now. So this is again Studio Calico and it's 9 by 12. Okay, I, my love is 12 by 12s. <clears throat> and we have 12 by 12 memory pages on our website. Um, one great thing I like about 12 by 12 albums, and this is a We Are Memory Keepers album, is these are 4 by 4 pockets. So I kind of take a lot of pictures and um, I don't like leaving anything out. So the 12 by 12, I feel like I can like fit a lot more. And all of my family albums until last year are 12 by 12. That's and yours is too. Yeah, right? I do 12 by 12 for my family you albums too. Bring yours. I have um, so I love 12 by 12 because I feel like I can fit. A lot of people complain that they're just big and heavy, but to me, I'm like, yeah, they're wider, but like I can't, I just can't fit everything in here. You can fit way more in those. And so I know they are a little bit bigger, but I just have a lot of things I have to say. Mm -hmm. um, I love the four by four pockets. It's easy. You don't have to worry about orientation wow. on these. And plus, you're going to want to, well, I'll tell you about our new app that's coming out later, but the four prints will, will, sit, will fit right in there. Um, and so on our website, we have memory page templates that you can literally just drag and drop like this your pictures in there and they're free to use and the 12 by 12 prints are a dollar so these this is a 12 by 12 album from we are memory keepers that you can also get on scrapbook.com um oh thank you jennifer she <laughs> said i can verify that you guys have called me when um something maybe was wrong or something so we are real people we call you if we see something off and you can always call us um okay so oh the storytellers link somebody needs there marcy okay so that's a 12 by 12 album and um i have a bunch of six by eights i don't know i mean we don't want to really get into this but if you guys want to use a six by eight you could do that 
This is also on scrapbook.com. There's also some of these are on Amazon. Um, but these are three by four pockets and six by eight pockets. And like that's a full six by eight. Another thing we have on our website is this six by eight template um, that you can drop in all these pictures on one six by eight. So just go to our collages and then find the six by eight. And it's one print and you literally you don't have to have Photoshop knowledge. You just drop them in and they're done. So um, that's an option. And these are four by six and three by four. One thing that's cool too, have you guys ever used QR codes? I mean, I can talk about that, but a QR code is something that you can scan. And um, here, Aubrey, will you scan this on, with oh, your yeah. phone? So all phones now, you can just hold your phone up to the QR code and something comes up. So you, there's a free there QR goes. code reader. Can you just click that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll show you what pops up now. Sorry, my screen's turning. Um, this is our Peru book that I did with my boys, and Aubrey just scanned it, and she's not on our Wi-Fi, so it's slow. And this is a talent show that we did in Peru. But obviously, I can't put the talent show in my album, so I made a QR code that takes you directly to the video. It's kind of cool. So if you guys have, like, maybe a blog that you're looking at, or it just – the one thing about the QR code is the URL can't change. So if you're going to like link up CNN or something, um, if CNN changes that link, it won't work later on. So that's kind of a fun idea if you have a video that you want to link to or um, some other sort of digital media. It, you just need a web page and you can create a QR code. And I can create a new blog post about that if you'd like. But you just Google QR code reader or QR code creator and you can just it'll give you one that's pretty easy to do. Someone's asking where to get six by eight page protectors. <clears throat> six by eight page protectors should come from the same company that you get the album. So you just kind of want to stick to the same company so that they all work. And um, this one is Simple Stories. Tons of these at scrapbook.com. And then the page protectors are also Simple Stories. So they all fit together. Um, let's see. Marcy will link up the Facebook group. Yes. So just okay. keep your eye out for that. Marcy will send one it. One other quick one, and then we will wrap it up, is I just went on, luckily, a girl's all-women's surf yoga retreat for inspiration and mental well-being. Um, but this this is from a company called Rustico, and it's a leather. It's kind of just like a leather journal. Um, and really, there's a lot of type of journals, you guys, that are out there that you can use. Um, I love it. It's awesome. The pages are a little bit thinner, um, but it still works. And so all of the pictures from that trip I put in here, like here's a four by eight, and then one of our retro cards, which is actually like um, it's a three by four with a square, and then you can write at the bottom. And so this was kind of fun to put together. Uh, let's go that way. And I journaled first and then just kind of left some blank spots for when I got home and added the pictures. So that's kind of a fun one to do um, of this little weekend with the girls. So really a lot of different journals should work. As long as the pages on the inside are thick enough, um, then they can fit your pictures and hopefully are archival enough. Um, when I say archival, just remember that not all print processes are the same. So. For example, this book I've never opened in 10 years. If you open it up now, it's fading on the edges. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's yellowing right here. And really, we've done nothing with it. So it's kind of frustrating um, trying to help people understand that. I'm not, I shouldn't say. But it's not not a no, this is not a persnickety book. Um, so anyway, the pages are yellowing. Um, I haven't really looked at it much, but... This is why, I mean, to each their own, but I feel like um, documenting as we go, there's a huge benefit of that. It's super therapeutic in times like this to be able to just like journal our feelings and write them out um, for all the therapy I've been through. Journaling's a big, <laughs> a big suggestion from all of the therapists. <laughs> um, so it's just really helpful, especially in times like this where it's a little bit stressful and we just need to get into like a creative zone. Yeah, and we think we'll remember it, and we won't. So we won't remember all the details. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, let's do, oh, one other thing. So I just have one more question and then I'm going to share the winners of our Heidi Swap giveaway. Yes. Um, one other question is, and maybe this will help each other come up with ideas too. Comment one thing you're doing for yourself or your family, like an activity. Like, do you guys have, I mean, we see on the news and stuff like all these suggestions for moms and how to take care of your kids all day and stuff. Um, and that's all great, but not all of us keep the TV on all day. Thank goodness. So um, comment one thing that you are doing with your family, um, just like while you're being quarantined, what's something that kind of keeps your, lifts your spirits. And then we will grab a comment from there um, for our Okay. There's the storyteller group. Yeah, yeah there it is. Asking. Oh, I'm glad, Courtney. I'm glad they called you. Yeah. Oh, Aubrey's husband is super helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the six by eight collages too. Yeah, the QR codes. I think these are um, the comments that we're seeing are a little bit late. So we have a ton of comments going on, so we're trying to get to them. Um, Okay, tutorial on the QR code. Okay, I will work on that. I think I have one on our blog. Um, we do have some nine, oh, nine by 12 templates. We could look into that. Um, Studio Calico is the only one I know of right now that even carries a nine by 12. And it's hard to, if more people carried the album, it would be easier to create a product around it. But I will look into that for sure. The daily walk with her son, that's great. Dinner Cooking too. dinner, yep. Craig Board King. games. Oh, bye, Lara. Story time with my grandchildren. That's cute. Board games. Yep. Family walk. I love that. Yeah, isn't it funny? Like, we're all outside now. Yeah. Um, and it's freezing in Utah, so hopefully it'll start getting warmer. And we can all survive. My four-year-old and I go up to his room for reading and quarantine time. That's awesome. I introduced my son, who's having a hard time sleeping, he's 13, to an app called Headspace. I haven't paid for it yet but it's kind of like a meditation like helps you go to sleep that's so cool. that's kind of something new that um he just tells me he has to have something to go to sleep and i'm like mm -mm, no we got to figure out how to calm your mind yeah um before then but a jigsaw puzzles home cooked meals yep lots of those crafting mm -hmm. for sure jenna got the kids together and made bracelets awesome. and the boys she got all the boys <laughs> together and they made ankle bracelets and they painted um, <clears throat> tie-dye tie shirts yeah good good job jenna <laughs> my husband mark is a partner at a cpa firm and he whew, he's busy still trying to get all that done um I can i see my phone really quick and we will announce the winners and then our um, marcy is going to give you guys the link for these so it's going to come it's a a download, it's best to do it on your computer because it's gonna be a link that is a compressed or a zipped file. So you have to unzip it in order to get the two JPEGs. Now, if you guys want to order these like on our thick, you can put these at home. Um, but if you wanna order them at Persnickety, this is a four by eight and you would upload an order and then go to press prints and then choose four by eight. So it's a four by eight press print. Scanning slides, that's awesome. I know it's mm -hmm. great to have all this downtime that we can do these things sometimes um, that pr we probably would never ever do. Mm -hmm. um, FaceTime, what would we do without technology right now? Holy, yeah. Okay, those are great suggestions. I hope everybody that's here, thank you for being here. It has like a renewed sense of <laughs> clarity maybe and some new ideas on how to deal with what we're all going through. And um, yeah, I just think, I was thinking my kids would go back to school next week, but that's <laughs> not gonna happen. Um, okay, video chatting, dinner every night together. Yeah, that's so great. Um, okay, so we, thank you for being here. Um, we have our winners for the Heidi Swap albums. Now, I did put in an order with American Crafts and they don't have some of them in yet, so uh for you that win i'm going to just pick the album and the journals inside unless you're really specific on what you want 
and we will ship them to you. So I'm going to tell you the winners and then Marcy will get your name and address and we will get those um, shipped out to you hopefully as soon as we can get them. Um, but in the meantime, you can start taking pictures and documenting mm -hmm. and writing things down and just kind of getting organized even if you don't have an album quite yet. And you know, printing little pictures. These are our three by four retro prints I forgot to show. Um, and these are like on the thick stock so you can write on the bottom. And even if you did this and like did a ring around it and then just had a little ring of pictures, so like that would be super easy. You wouldn't even have to have an album for it. But these are really thick, um, almost like playing cards. It'd be cute to do this and have the kids write something on the bottom too. So this torter these, you want your image to be square and then you'd upload them and then choose your image and then go to order prints and then choose three by four retro on there. Okay, uh, entire Star Wars series, yes. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, so we have our winners. Um, in fact, Marcy says, let's, if you guys would email her, that would be easier, um, your address, and we will get you your winnings. Um, it's Marcy, M-A-R-C-I-E, and she'll link it up at personalityprints.com. Make sure you get that spelling right. So. Winner one is Stacy Lowry Reeves. Congratulations, Stacy. I'm not sure where Stacy's from, but if you're still here, Stacy, you are the winner. Mm. And let us know where you are chatting from. Oh, Marianne, you're a nurse. She's off to work at the hospital. Aww. We love you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Marianne. Aww. Okay. I know. I hear you, Lara, about the aftershocks. Okay, so um, number two, winner number two is Brenda Rose. Yay, Congratulations, Brenda. Brenda! So Brenda, if you will email Marcy and let her know what uh, album you'd like, we will get that off to you. And if you're still here, hopefully you still are, tell us where you are calling in from, calling in from, where you are joining us from. Joining us from. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then number three is Tara Schmidt McGrath. Woo! Good job, Tara. Thanks for being here today. And um, we appreciate you all yes. for coming, for being here, for being with us. It gives us purpose. It gives us something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we're socializing a little bit. Um, yeah, it's yeah, kind of been tough times, but we will also, Marcy, don't forget to link she these up. Oh, she did? She okay. Out, yeah. So there's your download for these. And when March is over, we will make another one for March, and then we'll have that link on our blog. Thank you so much for supporting Persnickety Prints, too. It means the world to us. We work so hard. Our whole team, some of our team is probably online right now, and they work so hard to make sure that everything is perfect for you. Um, we have Jenna even comes in and packages and ships, mm -hmm. and, I mean, she's checking every single print and making sure it's perfect. So um, we really care, and we appreciate you trusting us with your memories. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, the Polaroid-looking print. We won't talk about that because Polaroid got mad at us, but we will call it a retro print. <laughs> and thank you, Kim. I'm glad that it got your mind off of things. And, hey, if you guys had fun here, like, we'll jump on in a couple days. Like, we might as well. We could come back in a couple days and talk about something else. So... If you'd like that, let us know. And I mean, we're here. We're all in this together, which kind of makes it a little, not easier, but. It's nice knowing everyone's. It's together. nice knowing somebody else isn't on a beach. In, well, they're on beaches, but. It's nice to know that somebody else isn't out. I don't have FOMO. <laughs> let's just put it that way. Okay. Congrats, everyone. Thank you for being here, everybody. And please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you from Katie, Texas, for being here, Stacy. And you guys have a good night. Bye. Bye.